Yeah, yeah, me hear about it. Me hear said them do the five G wickedness on them thing there. Them wicked, you know, them wicked. Me tell you them wicked. Yeah, me say. Yeah. So fam, what up? What up? What up? All right. Show you what I'm rocking. I just got some jade in the mail. Nephrite jade. I'm already feeling good. Yeah, I'm here. We have some on. What's even? All right. So. But I'm starting this new playlist. I'm starting this playlist. I'm taking a free form journey. Finally, I did it. Well, attempted a thousand other times, but I always just kept feeling this irresistible urge to um, retwist it back and just. But I know I'm going to keep fighting until it comes together that this, this is what the spirit wants for me to do. This is what the spirit wants. The journey the spirit wants me to take. All right. But this is where I'm at. I've been growing my hair since. Uh, December 20, no, yeah, Lord Jesus, I've grown my hair since December, having a brain fart, is it 2019, 2018, yeah, I cut my hair December 2018, I grew it the whole of 2019, until present day. So this December will be two years. So my hair looks much longer. So you can see how actually how long that is or how far it is from my, my head. So it's about two years growth. Well, yeah, one and a half, one and a half years. Um, but I um, retwisted and then I tried and then I end up, you know, washing it out. Because I, I needed to get a good clean. But when I scraped it out, the braids came out. And it just, it would not lock. It was getting, it was getting on my nerves. It would just not lock at all. Um, So, this is my latest attempt. I started with two strand twists. You can't really see it. Unless I get really close to the camera. You maybe can see the, the pattern a little bit. So, I started out with two strand twists. It, it was laying down on my face. I was like... It was just like real, it, it was really nice and soft. So, this is a couple washes later. I did um, retwist like twice, but this feeling just came over me. It was like, you got to try to freeform. You got to break through this wall of vanity that um, is trying to stop you or block you from doing your freeform. So, I'm a little, I'm still a little insecure about it because this is wild, you know, it's like a, you know, a baby garden. That's how I look at it. And these little spikes and stuff is sticking up. You know what I'm saying? It's like a fresh garden, a fresh new garden that you start. And all praise to Yehovah. It's like a fresh garden. And these are the little sprouts that are coming up. Stemming from my scalp. And I had an interesting experience. Not this set of locks. Like the previous one before. Where I was like, alright, boom. I'm not going to cut it. I, I think I started it from braids. I think. And I just was like, I'm not going to cut it or whatever. And it was doing its thing. But what I noticed is that. Um, the, it's like my, my braids was reverting back to an afro. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. Because it's almost like the twists or the braids that the last stylist put in is undoing itself and going back into an afro to turn back into whatever it's going to be, whatever spirit is saying that it's going to be. So, but this is my current set now. And I really want to walk in this freedom of the freeform journey. I don't, I'm not saying or advocating that, you know, uh, freeform is holy and to get your hair twisted or maintained is unholy. I'm not going to say that I'm not part of that crowd. There are some extremists 
who are free form all day, you know, bun out the fashion dread, ray, ray, ray. I'm not part of that crew. And then you have some that's strictly salon and ill, free forms is dirty, that's disgusting, blah, blah, blah. But flow within the paradigm and the vibration that spirit has you to flow in. So for me, I feel a strong call. And, and, it's, and I know that it's the spirit because it's such a fight. From without, but most definitely within a fight. Because it's like every time I let my hair to be free, I'm going to say it's a spirit. Or an energy that's like, retwist it back, retwist it back. And I got my hands all on my head and stuff. So I think one of the keys when you're free forming is really stop um, being so obsessed. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stop being so obsessed with your here. It's going to look wild for a season until it starts to mature, starts to combine, starts to congeal and become what your particular set of locks is going to be. It's not going to look like brother A or brother C or brother B, brother Z, X, Y. Everybody's locks is going to look different upon a number or an innumerable number of factors nobody's locks is going to be the same it just it just ain't we're all diverse and that's and that is the beauty of life individuality and in terms of free form locks that is the beauty of it is you never really know what you're going to get unless you're going in every month maybe and separating your locks so that they stay individual some of you have started um, free forming by your locks was already twisted so you just maybe sewed them or two strand twisted them combined them or you just let them be free and just do their thing some of you started from a straight loose afro no manipulation whatsoever so we all start at different stages different finish lines so you never know what you're going to get until it starts to form so the i guess maybe i should pray against the obsession with the process with the baby stage because right now these are baby free forms because i could still comb them out if i wanted to and it is a temptation i'm just telling you what's going on in my flesh and in my emotions it, it, it don't make no mistake about it it is a temptation to comb it out and go back to braids and whatever because i got a lot of hair like this I got a lot of hair um but i feel the call and i see a future a a, a beautiful future a free future if I am obedient to take this journey with Yehoshua, Jesus Christ, um, and to look a certain way with the beard and with my crown. This is my crown right here. And um, it's going to be a fight, but I intend to fight and get through it, get over the obsession with the neatness of the hair. It's free form. It's going to be messy. Not messy, but just free. You know, think of a garden, you know? Your hair is your garden. and It is a type of garden on your body. Just think of it in that aspect. You want to make sure that you are putting the right nutrients, vitamins. You want to make sure that you're watering your garden. And you're watering your garden properly. You feel me? You, ask, you can drown your garden. Same thing with your hair. You can wash it too much. There is such a thing. You can put too much oils, too much vitamins, fertilizer, whatever you want to call it, and destroy your crop. So right now, these are the baby stage. This is the baby stage of my free form lock. So I'm doing this video, um, this intro video. I guess this is, yeah, this is the intro video. I, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm about maybe, um, maybe two weeks in. Maybe two weeks in. Yeah. Two weeks in. So this is like my two week mark. I guess I could do it for a year. Every month. Come back on. And give you an update. Just like I did my beard. So possibly I could simultaneously do a one year lock. Freeform lock. And beard journey. Where I will not. 
Um, I probably I might stop going to the barber. I might. I might stop going to the barber because I don't. My hairline is it pretty much maintains itself. I don't really need a shape up because no most time I go to the barber I just tell them to like line up right here, you know. My, my that's it, and just line me up right here. My swat my beard is concerned, and that's it. But I don't really need the barber when you think about it. So I might not go to the barber, but I think I'm gonna turn this into a. 12 month um, free from lock and um, beard journey. No cutting of the beard. So it's almost, it's almost like taking a Nazarite vow, I guess you could say. Um, you never know. It's almost like taking a Nazarite vow. I, I haven't, I haven't um, drank any alcohol in a minute. A minute. So it's, it's so funny. It's almost like, you know, taking that Nazarite vow. Without even realizing it. So, y'all pray for me. Any encouragement um, you can share, please share it in the comment box. Um, video links, free form encouragement. Because I'm, I'm going to need that encouragement. Because it's going to get tough. Some days you're going to look in the mirror and be like, you know. So, keep me encouraged. Keep me prayed up. You can share your video. Share your experiences with the free form. And how it has um affected you in your life most definitely physically of course emotionally of course spiritually how has it changed your life how has it affected the vibration of the type of people that are attracted to you and the type of people that are you know turned off by your presence and your aura all because of the spiritual nature or the journey of the freeform locks that's in your head so this is my, I'm going to say my one month, even though it's been about two weeks, but this is my one month update with my free form locks. So, Yehoah bless you, Yehoah keep you, Yehoah make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, Yehoah lift up the light of his countenance and give you shalom. To all my lock kings and lock queens, we here. Let's be our lock spiration. The peace of Yehovah be with you. Peace. Blessings from Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, and the Royal Kakadesh, and the Holy Archangels. Peace. Jah.